Welcome to Memory Card Radio with your host, Max. John. Hey. I'm awake now. I don't know who I am. And Max. And Max. Matt. 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 I'm Matt. My name's Matthew. I'm Matt. I'm, what's my name? Your name is John. Matthew. And John. I'm Danny DeVito. Just for today. Okay. We're here to talk about video games. Yes. I think. I'm like 80% sure that we're, you know... Have we ever talked about video games? Uh, we did talk about uh, how you don't like the game Density made by Halo Studios. <laughs> yep, sold it. Yep, he did sell Density. This is for, this is uh, between now and the last cast we did. Yes, it's gone. It's gone. Someone else probably bought it right now and they're disappointed. I printed this off this morning and look how terrible it looks already. It's got coffee stains on it. I think that might be blood. Yeah, it's that's, that's, that's what is that now? really got bad. That's his copy of Density. This is how this is how I oh, wow. mess things up so quickly. I printed this That's off what it looks like when you buy it. Literally like an density. hour ago. It looks like it's gone through the Thunderdome. So that's what that's what Bungie Studios is uh, is pumping out nowadays. Yes. It used to be uh, discs. Now it's just paper. It's just paper with a little bit of coffee on it. It's just gotten worse and worse over the years. I mean, as you can see. So people just yeah. type their their game code into like te- uh, Notepad and they they take a picture of it with their phone. So and then you put the paper in the scanner, and the scanner reads the code like it's uh, like it's on a disc. Yes. So the DLC for that, would it's that called be a like really floppy disc. It's a paperclip. Paperclip. Yes. yes. Or the you DLC with like sticky notes attached. It's only forty nine ninety nine. I can afford that. Yeah. <laughs> but the DLC was like another page, but you had to buy the paperclip separately, and it was called the expansion pack, and you had to like <laughs> stitch them together. You need it. You need it to have the two. Well, you, you have, have to, to have a game there, and that's yeah. the game. You have to have the DLC. I had the original game. I had the DLC, but I don't have the paperclip. Paperclip's like twenty seven dollars, twenty seven ninety nine. I really can't afford it right now. But yeah, you know. that's all right. Yeah, Mom all right. Didn't know. I'm broke. I can't afford anything right now because I bought Alien Isolation, The Evil Within, Senran Kagura, a, a new PSP. All within like two weeks of each other, and I am broke. So hopefully How's we get some ninjas. Ideas. It's awesome. Is it filled with titty ninjas? Yes. That's it's, cool. That's awesome. all I know about it. It's so it's ninjas. so outrageous. It's exactly what I was hoping it would be. It's completely outrageous. Titty ninjas? I actually did an unboxing of it. I'm gonna put it up on the memory card channel later today. Excellent. Yeah, I mean it's not a bad idea to have uh, lots of different content. One of my favorite yeah. YouTube channels called Arcade Sh- uh, Sushi does that. They have like tons of stuff. I figure we're gonna start. We we need our we need a network. This is gonna be a network. We're okay, there we go. Reviews and we're gonna have a and, network and, and, and dance, a network. dance competitions with Copy. the DDR. You don't I, want I, DDR BT Dub. I, 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 I will lose. We can do that in here on that. That's true. No we problemo. Should. Next oh week we should do that. Can we dance on the TV screen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. what I'm saying, well, you put wait, the pad wait, wait. on the, the the wall and you put the TV like that's where you. Yeah. Or we could do it in the lounge if no one's in there. That's true. But uh, insane. Yeah. hello everybody. The lounge is a room you've never seen. We're gonna start doing this in different rooms. I think it's gonna be nice. This Mulchy is the, this is the uh, seventh grade classroom edition. We're gonna go around the world. You know, we're gonna to go to Japan next episode, right, and then the episode after that, we're gonna to go to Iraq. Okay. And then we're gonna to go to Africa, get Ebola, and then come back with a cure. There we go. <laughs> no one. Well, someone has to do it. Yeah. Someone I have an interesting it. problem that we're gonna to have to face today. Ebola. So, well, I mean, like we. I I didn't say that one because like it's implied. Oh. It's implied. It's implied. Okay. It's impl- no. Well, uh, we're going to have to find out when a half an hour is in this recording. Because usually when we record in the studio over there, Ooh. we have a, a monitor that has like the number, the exact Ooh, seconds. You're right. Seconds. You know what? I'll start a timer now. No. Okay. Um, There's you know, a time be, right there. We'll that's, just, seven that's, minutes. that's two minutes oh, does ahead. Say? That's two minutes ahead. So on here, however. Okay. Well, then, yeah. We are currently at five minutes and like 20 seconds. This Yo. is the best episode we've ever made. So just 25, Y'all can just, tell how little 25 I use minutes that camera. From now. 25 okay. minutes from now. This is like I, I've used that camera maybe four times. I have this here. So okay, what's what's eleven times plus twenty five? Twenty thirty seven. Thirty six. Thirty. Ah. Right. Can delete. You answer delete before math I cast. <laughs> delete it. Math cast. All right. So two thirty six. Delete cast. At two, oh, we we I just revealed what time we did. The bit. They're gonna be able to plan and get us next time. Yeah. This is. I've bought a video game. <laughs> And then I immediately sold it. So I Which game? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Every game. So no, I, I, what's your new one? You Halo, like 2. First, Halo 2. Is it Halo first, 2? I got Destiny. Okay, right, and right, I sold right, that, and I right. traded in to get a different game. What's Destiny? Is it like Density? It's it's similar. It's not it's, as good. It's, it's kind of Was like... Is it made by Halo Studios? It's made from Bangi? <laughs> Bung, Bungai? Bungi? Yeah, I can't pronounce it. It's name. made by this a game company called Bungaloo. 
Bungaloo. Bonnaroo made, made Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo. <laughs> yes. Destiny so, so I, Bonnaroo. I sold Destiny, and I got and I said, "Hey, give me another game." And they said, "This one is the best game in the past ten years." Whoa! They didn't say that. They didn't, but a friend of mine did. Okay. Decade. Somebody said Decade. to sell me on the game that I got to replace Destiny. And what game? It was Shadows of Mordor, and I was told this is the best game you'll play in ten years. And I am selling it today. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Why? It's hey, uh, is it the same reason everyone is, else has? It is not a bad game. Okay. I want to make this clear. It is a game it's I can not destiny bad. I can not describe destiny. easily if you'll like it because it is the easiest game in the world to describe. Mm. If you like Assassin's Creed, mm. you like Batman. Yes. There is nothing else in that game. It is purely those two things, oh. and then this one cool mechanic you'll never see unless you suck at video games. Oh, the. Hierarchy. System. Okay. It's so cool. That is cool, yeah. Except when you're me and you don't die. Yeah. There we go. Then it's great. There we go. I'm actually borrowing it from a friend. Uh, mm -hmm. I played the combat for about 10 minutes, loved it, and then I realized that's about the only part I really like. I played the game for about a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. You know what I've noticed in, in, in video games? I hate especially, them all. Well, I mean, that's implied. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's imply. Yeah. The game. Was, but no. <laughs> but there is the amount of game there, afterward yeah. to talk about. I have to, I play the well. amount you die in a video game is a based on your skill. Say this is the amount of times you die on a graph, and this is this is your skill level. Mm -hmm. It's a bell curve. So Max, why would you die more when you're better at a game? You use it to go back to the beginning of the level. You use it to go back to the beginning of the level. It's amazing. I mean, yeah. it really, if you learn from the, every time you die, then by the time I, you're done with the game, you've died a lot, and you're pretty damn good at it. I would right. say. Uh, so I, I've been watching speedruns like obsessively mm -hmm. in the past two weeks, like just like every oh, day. Oh yeah, we need to do speedruns. That's right. We're oh, so about interesting. No, he's been yeah. doing speedruns. I've been learning. Amazing. I've been learning how to speedrun Banjo Kazooie. Um, so this is, we, you need to stop your speedruns. All right, it's bad for you. <laughs> Gotta go slow. <laughs> this is actually an intervention. <laughs> Gotta go slow. <laughs> is You're it true? too fast. Is it true that if you go too fast, this letter is free, Max. You can literally see the speed. credits before you beat it. What? If you go oh. fast enough, you can see the credits before you beat a game. I think so. <laughs> For every game. <laughs> anyway, so like, anyway. back to the death thing. Like, so the guy with the world, world, current world record in Banjo Kazooie, his name is Stivity Bobo, and he does this thing. I love this man already. He, yep. okay, so in Treasure Trove Cove, the second level in Banjo Kazooie, there is this crab that you have to hit him like two or three times to kill him, and jigsaw pieces are the thing you collect in the levels, right? It's like stars mm -hmm. in Mario. So okay. there's 10 in each level. So he gra what he does is he jumps in the air, doesn't kill the crab, there's like a crab, and there's like the puzzle piece. He jumps above the crab, grabs it, and then dies to the crab, and he exits the level. It's like, what? What? Yeah. What? That's the fastest way you can exit the level. And like, it, it does make it's sense with, with the respawning system in place, but the mm -hmm. thing about this game is that you're a bear. Yep. And they have limited lives. You are a bear, and... You have limited lives, so how is it that you're supposed to? How is it you're supposed to do that? Um, uh, he you'll run out of them, and then you can't continue. There are actually lives that are he. You know these people, these speedrunners know the game like front to back. There are lives that are like in your way. You really don't have to go out of your way to get. You start with like five lives. So you can die five times, four times for free. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, there's a live. There's a life when you're. It's in Mumbo's Mountain. There's these little huts that you have to like ground pound each of them. And one of them spawns a, a, li a li like an extra life. You just grab it. It's, it's right there. Wow. So instantly, there's that extra one. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch in Clanker's Cavern and like. So Clanker's they have this. Cavern. They have like, all these items. Yeah, Banjo Kazooie is one of the best it's, games. It's my favorite game. See, I've never really played it. I don't know. It's great. Oh my gosh. Do you I have an N64 or I do now? Do you, well, then get it. Okay. Cool. I could, I could, I have, uh, I you have a banjo kazooie me. cart. I could, I could. Uh, the N sixty four games I have and have not played, it's kind of shameful. I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've Ocarina of Time. Have, never played it. Wait, you have it and have it. Have it. Never Whoa. played it. Whoa. I have um, uh, Perfect Dark. Never okay. played it. Wow. Um, I think I would actually really like Perfect Dark too, because it's kind of like a horror it's game. Great game. Sort of, it? uh, no. The guy who did the music for Banjo Kazooie did the music for Perfect Dark too. So really? Perfect Dark is more really. like Alien Cyberpunk. Well, either way, it sounds like some. It's fun, it's it's good. And um, let's see what else I have. I've, I've a bit. played the shit out of Mario sixty four, obviously. Yep. I uh, played Doom sixty four. Uh, what else do I have? Smash Brothers. I played that though. I'm not real good at it, but I've played it a few times. You need to get that. Uh, what about Majora's Mask? Never, I'm never, the only Zelda game I've ever played was the original one on the NES. Okay, you need to get out and play that. Ocarina I need to leave right time. now. I need to go. Get out of here. All right. 
Bye. <laughs> we'll go. No, I know, I know, I do. Um, I, I want time. To go I've done that how many times? You can go and play a video game and come back. <laughs> Ocarina of Time is a game I think you can like get through like pretty okay the first time if you don't know anything about it. Majora's Mask, however, you will get stuck like 70 times. It's impossible. I hear hard. that game's actually I kind of like very it. Very, very it's very dark and yeah. it's weird and scary and it's great. See, I'm actually more interested to play Majora's Mask, but I feel like I need to play Ocarina of Time first. So, so here's the deal. Because um, the game out first. He'll explain it. Ocarina of Time is a better Zelda game. Mm -hmm. And if you want a perfect Zelda experience, Ocarina of Time is by far the best. Majora's is very unique. And I don't know necessarily that you need to play Ocarina to enjoy it. I'll explain exactly why he doesn't. Okay, so like in the Zelda timeline, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask happen at the same time in the timeline. So there's nothing you need to know from one game to understand the other one. They both happen at the same time. They're alternate universes. Did you not know that? Really? Yeah. And they're I, running, I, the stories I, run I, parallel. I thought, huh. hold on, I thought the story of Majora's Mask was the, after Ocarina of Time for the Kid, and then it goes off. Nope. Educate what do you mean, me? no? I'm being educated on Nintendo that games. Was the plot. They happen, they happen at the game. same time. That's, that can't be right. No. Well, I, I at the, end of, Ocarina, at the end of Ocarina of Time, you beat Ganon as an adult. Yeah, and then you go back in time, and then you finish your life as a kid. No. And, yeah. No. That, don't, don't you remember? <laughs> you're standing in front of the princess. Zelda is the kid. Do you not remember that? Yeah, I know. Credits? I know. But yeah, it's you're it's, a liar. I read this. I wouldn't know it I'm unless I saw value. it. I apologize. There, there is an <laughs> there's an official like Zelda timeline thing you can look up, and it has that. It branches off, and it's based on an event that happens or doesn't happen. I want to say it's based on Ganon. I, want, I think it, if, if Ganon I, kills I know what you, it is. then it then I mean, if you have it. an alternate timeline, you can still change things. Well, the alternate it doesn't timeline have to be perfect. Was that was the kid version? Is what that was. So, the, so the three was one is you die, which is not reflected in this at all. Right. Um, and then there was the adult world and the child world. Right. There's the child world where Link actually lives his life forward, and then you know has like they've already stopped Ganon. The adult world is Wind Waker, where he saved the day, mm -hmm. but since he wasn't there and Ganon came back, he wasn't there, and that's why they drowned. Him. Okay. But Majora's mm -hmm. was a sequel to Ocarina of Time from Link's perspective. That, that is a fact. Hopefully people in the comments, <laughs> Google it. comment gonna section Google comment it. section will sort He's going to Google they will. it, making for fantastic time. Yeah, we have, a, we have yeah. a comment section. Yes, on YouTube. Do we yeah. have fans yet? We have like 20 views or something. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's more we, than we ever got on the radio. We've had so many. The view means that they like us, right? Uh, it means that they... I it means at the least that they, they, they got onto it and clicked off It means I sent them a letter and said, watch How this. How many likes? Oops, I clicked the wrong YouTube video. So anyway, speaking of Nintendo games that need to be played... Bayonetta 2. I, I want them. Bayonetta 9s, 9.5s, 10s, all across the board. Well, here's the thing about Bayonetta 2. Except it, Polygon. It also, well, they're not a real website. Polygon saw boobs and said, 6 out of 10! I like <laughs> boobs, though. That's why Titty Ninjas look so appealing. I wonder what they would rate Senran Kagura if, they're, ten out if of they ten. have that much of a problem with Bayonetta 2. Ocarina Time is worse than, than that. Okay, so, so the cool thing about Bayonetta 2, as somebody who does not have a Wii U, is you get the first game as well. Right, right. You got a double, and I, I'm, I'm mad because I don't have a Wii U and I want to play it. It's really pushing me. If I didn't already spend like two hundred fifty dollars on games this month, I might have done it. But I'm Do it. kind of broke right now. Out of all the games, I feel that's the one that probably needs your help the most because it's not gonna make <clears throat> money. No, but you know, Platinum wouldn't have been able to make it if Nintendo didn't. Fun this is what's going to happen. And publish it. Everyone at Platinum is going to be staring at you specifically. Good. Be like, is I buy all their games. I buy Make Your Rising for this one. and Vanquish. And they're saying, we're going to go bankrupt unless he buys this I'll buy it. specific game I'll buy it. tomorrow. I'll buy it. Way it. After you beat Ocarina of Time. You were right. <laughs> so the way the story, um, the timeline splits off at Ocarina of Time. So if the hero is successful in beating Ganon, then it goes to Majora's Mask. If he doesn't, it goes to uh, A Link to the Past, and then Oracle of Seasons, and then Link's Awakening. It's almost like I know everything. Yeah. <laughs> like it has Soul Calibur 2 there. Like Soul Calibur 2 is canon? <laughs> I also want to play Hyrule Warriors. Is this a Warriors. joke? <laughs> yeah, Hyrule Warriors is another one. I, I want yeah. you, but I'm not getting one anytime soon because I just yeah, I'm, I'm a recovering Sega fanboy. Okay. It's kind of mm -hmm. how I look at it. All through my childhood and pretty much my teenage years, I pretty much said... Fuck Nintendo. I just didn't like. Uh, mm -hmm. For the most part, it's because I honestly just don't like a lot of the kid oriented yeah. games. I just don't like Nintendo a lot of is them. easily the, it's like the easiest current console to, to dismiss. Honestly. Yeah, but but now that I don't care who makes it, I just want to play games wherever they are. Now that I have that perspective, I, I'm like, I wow, I need to play. I love games. Nintendo. Like I love Nintendo. So I mean, there's no reason not to. There's I always great view games. Nintendo as the perfect second console. I've been exploring the NES library for the past couple of years, and no, it's that's crazy. 
Hear me out. You say that as a joke, but that's I'm not exactly how that's I use it. No, I have. I, I play. I'm a PC gamer primarily, and then I have a Wii. If you have a PC, that counts as your first console. Exactly. I'm saying you need the the first thing so you can play everything from all the third parties and all the big companies, and then you can get usually what get game of the year nominations, all that. Mm. And then Nintendo has their own corner. You know, really, if you really have if you a have, valid corner, if you have one console or a really good PC, then probably the thing you should get is a Wii U because everything that's going to be good for it is going to be exclusive. Well, see, that's that's why I would argue for a PS4 because all the best games on that system are going to be exclusive. Well, that's why I say Uncharted. first console should probably go to PS4, yeah. or or if you have five thousand dollars. Definitely. Get a get a nice PC. You can get a decent everything. gaming PC for under a grand nowadays. Oh, yeah. if it's a desktop, then yes. Yeah, seven hundred, eight hundred um, bucks. You can get a really good absolutely. gaming PC. Can absolutely. it Maybe play Witcher three on Ultra? Probably. No, it can. not I don't know. Witcher two can't even. Who wants, play wants to play? On who wants to play Witcher three on Ultra? I do. <laughs> I, <laughs> I got my computer in two thousand eleven. I played yeah. Battlefield four on max settings on it. I am. Um, I played Battlefront two. Back, when I originally built my computer, I had spent <laughs> like PSP engine. I spent yeah. like eight hundred dollars on my computer like three years ago, and it, I could play Skyrim on it on like not ultra high settings, but the one below that, mm-hmm. in like fifty or sixty frames per second, looks and good. like an eight hundred dollar desktop computer. And this is including, like, this is including uh, Windows, which is like a hundred bucks. Right. Because I bought the OEM license, which is a hundred bucks instead of like one fifty. Word and all that good stuff. It didn't. Oh, this is OEM is like the um, I can't remember what it stands for, but that's the license that like. Best Buy buys for their their display computers. Mm-hmm. Like you, it's, mm-hmm. you can only use it on one computer, and that computer you use it on, it's stuck to that computer's motherboard. Yeah. So if you switch out the motherboard, you have to buy another one. Integrated. Yeah. But you can uh, switch out anything else though. So it's weird how OEM license. That is weird. But it's cheap. I just yeah. want Steam OS. If we I both get a know, computer. <laughs> we both know way too much about Best Buy. Yeah. yeah. How long did you work there? Not very long, like two months. Okay, I worked there for a year. Do they I, have good? This crazy. I hate buys. It. It, it's it's awful. This is the best buy. Uh, sometimes, ironically, it is, but it's only because, like, they, if, if you ever get a deal there that you couldn't get somewhere else, it's because they messed something up. And you're yeah. like, hey, this, is, this card's printed out wrong. You should give me the price. That's, you, that's how you get a deal at Best if Buy. If you get a good deal there, it's either, like, a camera, a laptop, or, like, maybe a TV or speakers. Like, their games are never going to be cheap. Like, they did start doing that used game thing, though. Mm-hmm. They started doing that, I think, when I left, so I don't know how. how sometimes they actually have new games that are old. Like I've seen PS2 games there still in the stream crap this oh, year. Wow. Do you think what? they would it's, want it's my really shares? Weird. I don't know how they're going to value. Probably not. Okay. If wow. you're going to sell a PS4 game that's relatively new, I would say don't trade it in anywhere. Sell it on eBay yourself. Sell it to somebody who wants it because then they're going to buy it for what it's generally worth. They're going to buy it for 40, 50 some dollars. Right. If you trade it in the GameStop, they're going to give you 20 or 30 because they're going to sell it again. Now, so cut out the middleman. Now, when I, I it. now it was a special at the time, but when mm-hmm. I did trade Destiny, I got forty five dollars for it. It wasn't. Well, that's bad. not bad. That's it wasn't okay. a bad deal. Yeah, you know, your power up card gets you another ten or so percent. I don't know if you really, have that. I do. Yeah, I, I have it for the magazine. I, don't, I never read this them. This is just because I worked at GameStop either. But generally, that card. Would you recommend the GameSpot or GameStop credit card? That no, they're, they're making no. I wouldn't recommend any credit card from any retail store. Ever. What about GameStop though? Because no. power to the play? Actually, power to the bank. Because if you miss, you got one month with no interest. That's nice. No, it's not. It's one billing cycle. <laughs> but that's there's no interest though. And I hate to defend Best yeah, Buy. Yeah, because it's not interesting. Best Buy gives yeah. you a whole year without interest. Yeah. But, there's but no... the point is, once you do have interest, it jumps up to 28%. So a, 20, a $60 game becomes what, Max? You're smart. What? <laughs> 28% of 60. Go. 28% of 60? Yeah. That's uh, like two bucks? No, it's like it takes so a sixty dollar game, makes it's it like, like twelve dollars. Okay, it's not bad. I'm gonna get the twelve dollars. I mean, if you're charging a video game, you shouldn't be buying a video games. If you ask me, if you yeah. have to charge it, you shouldn't be buying hey, it. Hey, buddy, we're sponsored by GameStop this episode, so you oh, gotta, well, you gotta, in that in that case, GameStop. Everybody should because get technically, it. it's a store. Power to the player, <laughs> and yeah, uh, right. they give you magazines sometimes. No, I like I, I like it. if you want good deal, good deals on games, just get just get a gaming PC with Steam. Like it's always Those are the best PCs deals. with you. How much? Those how much, are the best deals you can so get, though. How how much did I buy Assassin's Creed Brotherhood for the other day? Two much. five dollars. That's crazy. Five dollars. And uh, how bundles. much were all the other ones? Five dollars. Yeah. For but ask Black me Black. how humble much bundles it cost. are ridiculous. It wasn't even a humble bundle. This was Steam. Right. But ask me how much I spent borrowing Lego Marvel superheroes. <laughs> Last week, the game's like ten dollars. Nothing, because I borrowed it. Wow! It like, gives like ten dollars in Steam. How do you do that? I want to do that. You go to a friend's house who has a game, and you say, "Hey, can I borrow it?" And if they let you do it, lost me. You can. 
I'm, I'm an Xbox One guy. I didn't, I didn't understand <laughs> you. I'm sorry. I have an Xbox One. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't. It, I buy a game, a, and it's integrated into my system, and no one else can ever play it. I only have a t- an Atari 2600. I don't know what a Bungie is. <laughs> well, don't worry, because <laughs> PS4 is going to let you hit the share button, and then you can you play, play your Pitfall? friend's game. <laughs> oh, I played Pitfall the other day. It's crazy. I can play the Atari you game. You can jump. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's, I, I actually that's, had That's below, before my generation. I wasn't oh, even Oh, 100%. Alive. Like, well, the, 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 the was Nintendo was like 1987. Yeah. I wasn't Atari was like Atari was like 78. Yeah, was, that was way we, before us. Yeah, we weren't all. I was born in 92. <laughs> Although what's crazy is it had such a long lifespan. It went into the yes, 90s. It Games came out for it into the 90s. Yeah, I had... They're um, still coming out, technically. Yeah, I, well, I had a Atari pretty good license games into the 90s. It's yeah. crazy. That, it was a pretty solid console. Like, it they was, had the 5200, um, the 7800. They had really mm-hmm. good JRPGs. Those came and went. 2600 kept going. Yes, it did. I So, like, I had one. I had that in the nest, like, forever. Until I got an mm-hmm. N64 when I was in, like, kindergarten. So, like, you know, that many years of, like, just old games. You were in kindergarten when you got an N64? No way. Wait, was I? How old are you? I'm 22. What? How old are you? you know, oh, we, that's right. We've done this. You know. I'm old. <laughs> I'm old. I, I, was, uh, I was in the Atari. I'm senile. I don't was know. was either kindergarten or first grade when I got an N64. I, I'm that's 72. crazy. I was, like, in fourth grade. When I was born in 72, so I was round. Are you that much older than me? I'm 26. I'm oh shit, you are. 27 oh in February. What? He's an old man. I'm an old man, bro. I knew I was younger, but I didn't realize that much more. Yeah, still don't have a 401k started. Holy shit. But yeah. So like, so well, I had that, and we had, and my f- mom's friend, like, he was just, he's like, my mom's age, he's like 40 or 50 or whatever. He's like, I don't care about these games. So we have this like gigantic library of 2,600 games. Like there's a has pitfall. I have two thousand six hundred video games. <laughs> I'm about yeah, to man. go through them and I have we have maybe pitfall. buy a few. We have two copies of Donkey Kong, the original Donkey Kong. Uh, I don't have that. I want that. Let me buy one of those. Or all right, sure. I mean, if they're still there, like I haven't checked. We borrow it forever. We have that, and like we have uh, like asteroids and like all this other classic stuff. Mm-hmm. Man, it's such a nice console. It man, works, Spider Fighter, like, not a popular game, but it's like a, it's crazy. It's like. I believe you have Centipede too, by the way. That's like my favorite Centipede's one. really good. And Millipede's really good. Yes. So like, Millipede's even harder. So like <laughs> every time I played the Atari, it made noises I wasn't comfortable with. It was like... Yep. Really? It shouldn't be making any noises. There's no moving parts. It's, um, it's interesting. Like That's it's, even scarier. Yeah. If There's you think like about a like, creature inside of it. <laughs> I, I don't the trust the Atari. the Atari Goblin. The Atari Goblin. It's like, well, interesting fact. The guy who made Marble Madness. Yeah. You ever play that? Hmm. Um, do you know what it is? No. We just can't talk about it now. Never mind. There's I'm no listening. No. You, no go ahead. It's all right. You don't know. Max, do you know what it is? No. Never mind. Okay, well, educate us. No. <laughs> now I don't know what it is. <laughs> so the Atari 2600 controller. From Atari. So, like, I, th- I thought about this the other day. It's kind of interesting. So, are you familiar with the Atari setup? It's the joystick with the button on it, right? Right. So, it's like the opposite of what we do now. So, they focus on directional the stick like moving mm-hmm. and then they have like an action they just don't care about actions so it's like you got the stick with i think it's eight directions right yep, it's eight directions it's, eight dire- it's an eight directional stick with a, with a button with an action so like they very much focused it on like reaction timing and um and movement and now in games it's like we have like a control stick maybe another one and then like 70 buttons yeah. so it's just like gaming has gone that way well now it's we have cool. you know the the whole touchpad thing on the ps4 yep. that's like Potentially no several buttons it, there, though. right? Well, like it's most I, games you bring up a map. Most or games it's a button. I forget yeah. it's a touch screen. Well, you'll you'll see. I, I bet you Uncharted Four will do some stuff with it. Like the Probably. exclusives. I bet you um, I, Ready Dawn's game. I mean, I'm sure order. down the road. Was, I'm just uh, saying right now. I don't think I've encountered a game that actually does anything mm, with it. Other than Except maps for Hotline stuff, Miami. Yeah. That was I, the one. Game. I haven't played that on PS4 yet. Um, you play Hotline Miami? On the Vita, yeah. It's great. Just like that. You know, I I maybe I'm bad at it, but like I just keep. You get hit once and you're dead. It's hard. And it's I don't, very, very difficult. It's I lose so interest fun, in it because I'll, I'll walk into a room and just get killed and get killed. I like that it starts it's, over immediately. It's but the Super Meat Boy of overhead just, shooters. Honestly. It really is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. but, it, but it's but beatable. I like, I like the right. Super Meat Boy. Like, better. Super Meat Boy is way harder to me, I think. Because, like, I, I, I have beaten Hotline I just like Miami that character so much. in every <laughs> stage, even the, the extra ones that you can mm-hmm. do. But. To Meat Boy, no, that's not happening. I, Once I got to what what is it called? I think Rapture, the the final world. Uh, well, Rapture is right before the end. Well, then Rapture is where I can never beat it. Okay, I have tried so many times, and I said no. Yeah, um, that game is hard. Um, I've played both, but I've. I'm kind of I'm biased because I played super. I put like way more hours in. I put like four hours into Hotline Miami, and I put like thirty into Super Meat Boy. Mm-hmm. So I can beat Super Meat Boy, but Hotline Miami I'm not good at enough yet because so I haven't played it enough. Now games that are really hard. So to I don't know which one's harder. Dark Probably Souls. Hotline Miami. I'm thinking. 
Dark Souls is the best game, though. I haven't played it. I haven't ever. played Dark Souls. I tried Demon Souls for a while. Was you don't awful like at it. I, I didn't say I didn't like it. I just it's. I need like a full week to just get good at it, and I don't have that. Here, here's the thing, from my experience with both games, because I've beaten both, and I love them, and, and Bloodborne is... I yeah, can't I'm, I'm I pulled my phone out at the right time. Why? It's about the, it's about half an hour. Okay, so we'll just finish it. We'll wrap up here in a little bit. Yeah, I, got, I got one more topic we need to talk about. Well, well, let me just finish this. Like, <laughs> like, when it comes to Dark Souls, it is a game that is incredibly daunting mm -hmm. and miserable right. until it clicks. And it just, it, you'll never know when it happens, but it'll just click with once you. Happens, and then all of a sudden, once, once that happens, me. It, don't get me wrong, it's still hard, and you are scared to walk into a room, but you get what you're doing. Yeah, see, and, just, and it is the only game I honestly feel like I've gotten that much better. Because I haven't Dark Souls 2. I haven't played Dark Souls 2 yet. I'd love to borrow that from you. I would okay. be really thankful. It's PS3, though. I, I have a PS3, okay. sir. So, um, anyway, but like here's, here's the thing. So, like with Dark Souls, um, the beginning section would kill me all the time because I was just terrible at it. Mm -hmm. And then as I went, now I can do probably about a third of that game in about two hours just because I've learned all those enemy patterns and just figured out exactly what to do and how to yeah. move. And it's a matter of time. It is a game that I honestly believe people when they say they have beaten it at level one with, with just the weakest weapon. And I believe them because I can see how it can be done. But it is a nightmare yeah. to play the first time through. But it's so good the first time through. I need to... Like, I Two is, I mean, I tried it for like a couple hours, and like you know, like I was saying, I just didn't. It didn't click for me yet. I know it will. Everybody has told me that two is like not as good. One is what everybody says, but I still need to play it. So whenever you feel charitable and cough yeah, it up in my it came direction. with a metal case and a soundtrack, and I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff, so I bought it. And I, I figured I would like you. it eventually. I no, will. I'll let you borrow. It. I will buy it. From you. <laughs> I will. Eric, don't buy it. I love you can it. you can come over to my house and visit it on the weekends. Okay, we'll, well, we'll do a podcast. Hey, play it's on the Friday. Podcast. I guess I better go to your place. Yeah. So one more thing we should talk about, if if for nothing else, then to just so I can put it in the search tags. Uh, <laughs> Anita Sarkeesian, Minecraft. Yeah, video game critic. She right. canceled a speech at the University. I of saw Utah that. Under threats of Gamergate. We did it. Gamergate in the search. Gamergate. We did it. Yay. Um, All right. Bye. Let's be even more topical. Uh, Ebola. Ebola. Barack Obama. Ron Paul. Minecraft. 2012. Ebola. Ebola. Will Smith. Um, so here's my opinion. Barbara Streisand. I, I've already said yeah, my opinion of it yeah. on a previous episode. So no. Well, this isn't so much about Gamergate. I, I want to talk more about this particular incident. Yeah. Because um, I know we've already talked Gamergate to death. The whole fucking internet's talked it to death. Yep. Once it gets to the mainstream, the gaming community is going to be tired of hearing. I think it's fantastic. So, I'm finally done being viewed as a child. I'm now viewed as a sex offender and a fucking monster, which uh, is way better, I think. I don't know. I, I was. I I'm think, not, I'm I think not the really with you there. I'm not really. <laughs> <laughs> I might be joking. It might just be a possible that's a little bit. I don't, know. It, I don't know. With all the shootings going on, as common as they are, I, I get that some people think. I don't think anyone's going to do anything. I, it doesn't matter. The f uh, every the, threat, every big event gets threats. Here's the deal. Here's the deal with this. We live in an, a time where these threats are no joke. Right. And the fact that people are doing these threats and think it is no big deal is the real problem we have today. Like all it uh, takes is one time where they go, you know what? No one's probably going to do anything, and then they did, and it's like, holy shit. And I'll just well, say this: all it takes if, is once. If somebody, here's one one thing I would I would point out sure. is, um, any time that there was a shooting, like say the uh, when Dark Knight came out in that theater, yeah. Uh, Nobody called in and said there was going to be a shooting. Not it true. There happened. was an example. Um, one point, what was his Was name? it that guy? Was it the person who did the shooting called in and said, I'm going to come there and shoot everybody. There was Make a guy sure who uploaded there. a YouTube video saying he was going to do a shooting, and he then they didn't shoot. take him seriously. Was it the one he shoot at the mall? No, oh, this, this was the guy about. in California. This was a young guy. But, but the point is, is that... by a bunch of women. Yeah, but yeah, the, yeah, this has know. happened. And, and he didn't I, make a YouTube video. Look, I'm not saying that the shooting would or wouldn't have happened. I'm saying the fact that we are in a situation where we don't take that seriously, and the right. fact that people are doing it is a problem. Well, and it also points out more, like, feminist things that you can totally say. Every single time you want to say there's no feminist problems in video gaming, and we keep ha hearing that these threats are happening... There's something wrong. I don't care how bad she is. No, there's is. definitely something wrong. And it's, that probably wasn't the only threat. I mean, she's been, I'm sure. she's been harassed. But you know what? Anybody who steps in the public spotlight is going to get threats from time to time. Just about everyone who's famous on YouTube gets threats. I think from this degree, 
that with her specific situation, it's, a, it's much larger than any it's other usually, celebrity. It's maybe. usually like by men and multiple times. That's the one thing about her situation. Well, this, this like comes as a reactionary. Right. This comes out of a fear. This isn't like she's famous. Let's get her taken like, away. This thing she's saying specifically. And I'm not saying I don't love video games. I do, but I hate gamers. I heard a pretty All interesting. I heard a pretty. <laughs> I hate I, you guys. <laughs> love you. I heard a pretty interesting like comparison <laughs> as far as like this stuff goes, and so like. Like, 20 years ago, there was, like, the Columbine shooting, and it was, like, gamers are sick of people associating video games with shootings, and now gamers are, like, threatening to shoot people. This like, what cool. happened? Well, there's no way to know that this person was a gamer. I got a point. One could just thing be a nutbag. I, I just feel like they, if nutbag. they know who she is, they probably are a gamer. Maybe. Because that's what she does. She does tropes in video games. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, even if you look it up, you'll, you'll hear from Twitter and just get that. But, but here's the thing. You see footage of that game Hatred, which is entirely related to this? Um... What yeah, actually, I did see. Some yeah, like that. that looks ridiculous. That's this is the world it looks we're like going to live in. From Metalocalypse, basically going on a rampage. It, it's Postal One, the game, because yeah. Postal One was exactly like that. But we're you in a different about? time. Hatred. Mm-mm. It is a game. I played Postal. Yeah, you, the first one. Uh, no, Postal. Two. Okay, so you haven't played the one that I'm referencing. Postal right. One was not a game with comedy. Postal One was a game where you go out and you just shoot innocent people, death, and, and wow. police. That's all you did. It, it, it wasn't, like, optional. That was how you played it. And you just... You know, and, and they're making basically that again. Oh, so okay. you got Unreal Tournament... Uh, or the Unreal Engine. Okay. You know, ps 4 like graphics yeah. of you murdering it's innocent people. It's top-down twin-stick twin stick shooter. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it the looks kind of game... Great. I looks great. I, I guarantee you it's going to be fun. That's the sad thing. It's going to be fun. I'm probably Why gonna is that going to be fun? Gonna like it. I don't know because it's a video game and it's ridiculous. Why I like ridiculous. Mechanically, why is it's going to be it's satisfying not, to play. But it's not a comedy, it though. You ever go on a shoot, shooting rampage in Grand Theft Auto? I do. I feel I it's do. different in Grand Theft Auto because when when you do it in Grand Theft Auto, that's not the goal and objective. That's that's somebody being an idiot inside a group and they play it for laughs. Right. This is something that is for you it's, to feel it's good. It's all about about murdering right. people. That is the yeah, goal, and that's different. And, but there's also something to be said for the way people who don't play video games are never going to understand video games. Yeah. At least violent ones. They're never going to get it because they don't play it. And when you're watching somebody play a violent game where you're mowing down people in the streets, it's different from playing a game and just having fun with it and mowing people down the streets. You know it's not real. The difference is... You know that you're having fun, but the person watching is saying, this person's fucking crazy. It, the difference is if you're marketing your game as, that's this one... That's this one. Right, right. Are you want to kill innocents? You think it's, it's going to hurt her gaming image? I, the gaming image is already hurt. Right, but I, gonna, I, gonna, gonna what, I think it's going it to be controversial yeah. from mm-hmm. not only the mainstream, but I think we ourselves as a society are going to be offended a little bit. Postal, I'm kind of offended. Post, but I still want to play it. No, I'm not on that. I'll borrow level. it. I'll borrow it. Look, I'm, I'm not against. <laughs> it. I'm not going to give them the developers any money. I'll, I'll rent it. it. I'll rent it. I'm not pirate it. I'm not against it because I think all form of art should be out there, regardless how much I like it or don't I like agree. it I and agree. that's great I just I hate the fact that people said you know let's make that game yep. again yep. this is not the first one there's Postal 1 Postal 2 as offensive as it is is played for laughs that's true that Postal is a two, funny game Postal 2 is weird you can like you can pee on people you can pee on that Gary Coleman that is a mechanic you can, you can pee on Gary Coleman and I love it. He's in Gary Clark. Well, I haven't heard game. of this yet. You never played Postal One? It must have been on N64. Back back in the day, <laughs> it's been deleted since, but my, my biggest uh, let's play in high mm. school, I did one for Postal Two. And it I got like a hundred thousand views for that. It was great. And you uh, deleted it? Postal I didn't delete it. Somebody deleted my account. It's a prank. <laughs> gotcha, not, Eric. That's like the worst prank. Don't worry, I got back. Gotcha, at it. Eric. I deleted Mike. this World of Warcraft account. So we just delete your future gaming career. Delete. <laughs> I hate deleted. Him. But uh, I could have been your start, man. It was yeah. it was sad because I had one glitch. I'm never <laughs> gonna be able to reenact. It was offensive on every level. Yeah. It, it, there was a glitch where there was a, a woman's body, a white woman's body, with a male black man's head on the body and I solved the problem of this mixed racial thing and and uh, you know which was offensive on every level sure you know this a transgender community was upset by the glitch yep. and I was upset by the glitch so I solved the problem I got the shovel and I knocked its head off and then the go. problem was fine done it's and, gone. and for and someone even made at the time I don't know where it is but a musical tribute to it yeah where they took my reaction and just made some music yeah it was beautiful yeah. to remix well, before we leave, I think we should do one thing. Game of the Year uh, predictions right now. Oh, I can answer that easily. But it's sad. What do you um, think? Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight? Easily. What do you think? Oh, man. I know, it just kind of sprung it on you. I'd probably go with Shovel Knight, too. Really? I hear it's good. Why do you say? I, because 
Shovel Knight, while a great game, I cannot think of any runner-up that really deserves I haven't tried Shovel Knight. I, I feel like if I had tried Shovel Knight, I would say Shovel Knight, but since I haven't tried Shovel Knight, I would say The Evil Within. I'm having a blast uh, with it. I have I'm to having play an it. absolute blast with it. It's so good. I can't wait for next it's year so in gaming, good. but this year is really not that good. It's been slow. I mean, we're, Watch we're, looking, at, we're looking at an indie game made by how many people? Five, six people? Yeah. That's like our big game right now? I'm sure it's great. I'm, I'm just saying. Triple A games That's why I'm disappointed. Yeah. I'm not upset that that's on my list. I'm upset that I can't think... Of, other than South Park, I cannot think of another game to put on my list. Well, that was 2013, wasn't it? No, that was this year. That, so was, year? that, that was March. This I think to get that. Me. I need to get that. It's fantastic. Yeah. I don't... I've, I've, heard, I've heard nothing but... Uh, they need to bring it to the Vita. I know yeah. they never will, but that would be great. It yeah. won't happen. But, but uh, play it. It's great. Nothing it's, else. It's not necessarily the best video game. It's the greatest season of South Park. I just love South Park. Yeah, I mean, if it's an authentic South Park experience, I'll love it. I know that. It is a love letter. One hundred percent a love letter. Yeah. South Park. Cool. Man. All right. All right. Uh, Ebola. 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 Thanks for watching. Ebola. <laughs> comedy. Ebola. I comedy. hate gamers. Barack Obama. YouTube.com slash Ebola comedy. Ebola.gov. We're all gonna die. YouTube.com slash Ray William Ebola. <laughs> Johnson. <laughs>